Hi everyone, wherever or whenever this devotion finds you, I hope it finds you well and living in hope, joy and peace. My name is John, I'm one of your area pastors here at Audacious and it's my delight today to um, share my devotion with you, which is about my favourite proverb, which is found in Proverbs 15 verse 1 and it says this, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I'm also a head teacher and um, I'm often reminded of this verse when confronted with an upset or angry parent. It really does work. Uh, A gentle answer really can turn away wrath. But I just want to share with you um, a testimony about when I was younger. I worked in a um, place where the place was run by Mormons. I was the only Christian in the place. And um, I worked hard to show myself approved. I wanted to find out and prove why Christianity was the right way and Mormonism was the wrong way. My heart was good. My intention was good. I wanted to shed light, the the light of God's truth on their error. But sometimes my arguments came across harsh and even arrogant. I wanted to prove that I was right and they were wrong. After one particularly vociferous conversation, God led me to this proverb, and he reminded me that sometimes it is so easy to win the argument, but lose the soul. In the last days of his life, Jesus spoke very few words. In the moments before his death, when you would think that he would be at his most vocal, defending his cause, himself and his mission. Isaiah 53 reminds us of this, that like a sheep being led to the slaughter or a lamb being silent before her shearers, he did not open his mouth. He chose to let his life and the justice of his cause speak for itself and his silence really did speak volumes. So next time when we find ourselves in a position to defend ourselves or defend Christianity or defend our cause, let's remember and consider the Jesus way and choose to win the soul and not the argument. Let your life, let my life speak even without our words and let's make sure that we are showing people a gentle way, an humble way to win them into the kingdom of God. I just want to pray with you before I go. Dear God, thank you as always for your example. Thank you for showing us that it's not always about volume or the amount of our words, but it's about our heart. And we pray that whenever we are called to defend our cause, and your cause. Help us to remember to be humble and gentle, just like you are. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. God bless you.